Billionaire Boy by David Walliams. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to have a million pounds? Or a billion? Or how about a trillion? Or even a gazillion? Meet Joe Spud. Joe didn't have to imagine what it would be like to have loads and loads and loads of money. He was only 12, but he was ridiculously, preposterously rich. Joe had everything he could ever want. 100 inch plasma, widescreen, flat screen, high definition TV in every room in the house, tick. 500 pairs of night trainers, tick. A Grand Prix racetrack in the back garden, tick. A robot dog from Japan, tick. A golf buggy with number plates spud to to drive around the grounds of his house, tick. A water slide which went from his bedroom into an indoor Olympic sized swimming pool, tick. Every computer game in the world, tick. 3D IMAX cinema in the basement, tick. A crocodile, tick. 24 hour personal masseuse, tick. Underground 10 lane bowling alley, tick. Snooker table, tick. Popcorn dispenser, tick. Skateboard park, tick. Another crocodile, tick. A hundred thousand pounds a week pocket money, tick. A roller coaster in the back garden, tick. A professional recording studio in the attic, tick. Personalised football coaching from the England team, tick. A real life shark in a tank, tick. In short, Joe was one horribly spoiled kid. He went to a ridiculously posh school. He flew on private planes whenever he went on holiday. Once, he even had Disney World closed for the day just so he wouldn't have to queue for any of the rides. Here's Joe, speeding around in his own private racetrack in his own Formula One racing car. Some very rich children have miniature versions of cars, specially built for them. Joe wasn't one of those children. Joe needed his Formula One car made a bit bigger. He was quite fat, you see. Well, you would be, wouldn't you, if you could buy all the chocolate in the world. You will have noticed that Joe is on his own in the picture. To tell the truth, speeding around a racetrack isn't that much fun when you're on your own, even if you do have a squillion pounds. You really need someone to race against. The problem was Joe didn't have any friends. Not one.